Let's get to our weather forecast now. Just a couple days away from the weekend, and it sounds like these are some days we really need to take advantage of. Indeed, it's rare that you talk about August days with no humidity and obviously even harder, no rain around here since <laughs> it's rained what every day it seems like for the past two weeks. But we've got some beautiful weather moving in here for your Friday and your Saturday. Outside right now, most of you enjoying some sunshine. We have seen an uptick in the clouds here recently, and that is because we are tracking at least a few areas of rain, and these will be around throughout the evening. It's not going to be a washout around the tri-state this evening, but don't get caught off guard by a passing downpour that may last 10 to 15 minutes. A few showers out there now as you head west out of Aurora through Dillsboro, and then you keep heading far enough west to the south of Holton, Brazil, We've got a couple of downpours there in parts of Ripley County, then take you back north along I-70 and there are scattered showers and storms that have been flaring up along I-70 and dropping south. That's because there's a cool front up here and this cool front has ice set on the Ohio River tonight. So we'll get these spotty downpours and occasionally maybe even a storm like you're seeing up there around Connorsville right now. This will drop down towards Brookville Lake, the Brooming Grove communities on out there towards Laurel and Meadow as well as Brookville, maybe even getting in towards Oxford, parts of Butler County here in short order. So it's not a washout for your uh, Thursday evening, but don't again be caught off guard by a quick passing heavy downpour, I should say. Temperatures outside right now, we are generally between 80 and 85 for most of us. We've already seen a dip in the humidity, but we've got an even bigger dip coming overnight tonight. So the chance for some passing showers or maybe a storm before midnight. I don't think a lot of rain is expected out there, but between now and midnight, you could get in on a brief shower or maybe even a storm or two around the area. Temperatures will slip through the 70s. So we had that first cool front come through, you know, late last night. That's why our dew points have dropped into the 60s. So we are better than the dew points of the 70s and 80s that we've been accustomed to. But here comes the secondary cold front tonight, and behind that, dew points are down into the 50s. And once that slips through, that's the much less humid air that will be in place for the start of your weekend. It won't last, of course, because by Sunday, it's probably feeling pretty sticky again around the area, but at least we're rain free for a day or two. So very pleasant Friday and Saturday looks great. If you're heading to preseason action down there at Paycor Stadium tomorrow evening, great for tailgating temperatures around 80, slipping into the 70s by kickoff. Show you future cast. You can see as that front works its way south, you'll see these spotty downpours push through the area. Here's nine o'clock, take you through midnight. This is all moving out. And then once we get towards the midnight hour, it's pretty quiet into Friday and Saturday with plenty of sunshine and pretty comfortable conditions for this time of the year. So maybe a passing downpour before midnight, then clearing and cooler. You'll feel the change by morning down to 62. One word. Perfect for tomorrow. It will be perfection with sunny skies and temperatures around 80, a light north breeze, very low humidity. Here's your seven day forecast. Saturday will likely feature more of the same. Look at that tomorrow night, Saturday morning. We're down into the upper 50s for lows. 83 on Saturday. Sunday is a weather impact day. Scattered showers and thunderstorms return, and we'll keep an eye on the forecast for next week. But right now, it looks like the tri state will be situated between two weather systems that are stuck. And this go around, hopefully we are stuck in a good place with some very comfortable weather for mid to late August through much of next week. Kevin, thanks so much. An Indiana Congresswoman.